Now let's learn about functions in PHP. And I'm going to reopen my week four project in a new window. And I'm going to start with the selection PHP. And let me just go ahead and click on here and copy. And then I'm going to go back to my week five folder, click on week five, and paste, control V to paste so that I have a copy of that whole file here. And this code works fine, but it's not very modular, which makes it harder to understand, and it also makes it harder to maintain. And we can improve the modularity and the understandability of this code by creating some functions. So let's start with a simple one. Here's a chunk of code that just outputs the student passed or the student failed if score is greater than or equal to 70. And we can turn this into a function by cutting the code out and calling a new function that I'm going to supply called output pass fail. And we'll pass in the value of dollar sign score. And that's called an argument. When you pass a value in, it's an argument. And then I'm going to define output pass fail as a user defined function. So I'm going to go to the top of my file here, right after my constants, and I'm going to create a function called output pass fail, and it's going to take one parameter called score. And then inside of here, I'm going to paste that code that I just cut. So let's look at what happens. So the code, all of the code inside of a function runs in its own little box. And the only connection it has with the outside world is values that you pass in here. So inside of here, score is referring to this parameter value that's passed in. And any changes that you make to score inside of this function are only going to affect score inside of this function. It's like Vegas rules. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. There's also a global variable called score, which we create here. And we'll talk about that more when we get to variable scoping um, later. But for now, I'm passing in the value of score. And then based on score, I either echo the student passed or echo the student failed. And this function definition can basically happen anywhere inside of this file. All it does is it creates a new function named output pass fail with some code associated with it. So I can put this after I call score or before I call score or whatever. And then I'm going to do the same thing here with output audit. It's not a very complicated function, but in this one I don't have to pass any parameters into because I'm not looking at the value of score, but I'll just go ahead and put it here. And then I'll also do this for unknown grade type. And paste it in here. Now you'll notice that I'm not passing in grade type here. And that's going to cause a problem. So here I'm trying to access the value of grade type. And there's a global variable named grade type. But I haven't passed it in. So I get a little red curly under it. If I want that red curly to go away, I have to pass in grade type as a parameter and then add it to my function call down here, like so. So I'm going to save this letter grade for a minute. We'll come back to that one. And let's look at what else we can pull out. So this could be a function, switching on grade type. So let's go ahead and create a function for that. 
and we'll call that validate grade type. And we'll pass in grade type. And so here's the definition for validate grade type. And let me fix my indentation here, just so that it matches the other ones. And we'll leave this like this for now. But when we go ahead and run this code, it should do the same thing that it did last week, even though I put the code in a function. So let's go ahead and go to selection.php. And I get an error. I need to specify a score for the student. So I'll add a score. I need to specify a grade type for the student. So score must be a number. Grade type must be either letter, audit, or PF. Student's type is, student's grade is A. So it's behaving the same. Let's try a pass fail. Student passed. And let's try audit. Student is auditing. So it works exactly the same as before, but now the code that outputs the grade type must be either letter, audit, or pass fail is inside of a validate grade type function. And the code that outputs student is auditing is inside of output audit, and this code that outputs output pass fail is here. So now what if we want to turn this code into a function? Well, let's go ahead and cut that, and we'll call a new function called output letter grade, and we'll pass in score. And then let's go ahead and create a function for that. Pass in score, and there's my code. And now this should work as well. So let's go ahead and hit reload. Student is auditing. Let's change it to letter grade. Student's grade is an A. Student's grade is a C. So that's working as well because we're passing in the value of score, calculating grade, and then outputting grade. So let's go ahead and try to consolidate our input validation functions. So let's go ahead and take this part that checks the score, and then this part that checks whether score is numeric, and let's put that all into a function. So I'll create a function called validate score, and it won't take any parameters. And I'll put all that code inside of there. So this should validate the score correctly, but there's a little problem. Let's see what happens when I try to run this. I'm going to go ahead and hit reload. And I get undefined variable score in selection.php and line 80. So let's look at line 80. If I right click here and show line numbers, right here I'm getting a problem. There's no such variable called score. Even though I set it here inside of validate score, it's not visible here where I need it. Once again, we'll talk about this more when we get to scoping, but the bottom line is that if I get a value here, it only exists here inside of this box unless I do something special. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to return the score. So that means that after this code is executed, if it gets to this line, it's going to pass back the value of this variable, and that's going to be the return value from a call to validate score. So let's go ahead and call validate score. And 
And now this is going to return that value. So let's save it where we can use it. So when I get to this line, I call validate score. If it works, it returns the value of score, and then that value gets stored in this global variable, which is available here. And if I hit reload, the code works correctly now. So let's put this whole thing inside of a function. I put grade. And now we see that we're going to need grade type and score as parameters. So we can pass both of those things in. Like so, using a comma separated list. So PHP Storm seems to want this uh, curly bracket to be on a separate line. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all of my functions from now on. Great, so now I'm consistent. So now I've defined a function called output grade, but I haven't actually called it anywhere. So if I just run this program, it doesn't produce any output because I've calculated score, but I haven't called this function. So let's go ahead and call the function. Pass in grade type and score. And now it works correctly. So now all of my code is inside of a function except for this little bit here. Let's go ahead and move that down to the bottom. And let's go ahead and put this in a function as well. So let's call this calculate grade. It's not going to take any parameters. And then we'll call calculate grade. Works the same as before. Should work for pass fail and for audit. And our input validation should still work. So undefined, uh, we did we do have a problem. Undefined index selection.php on line 101. So here I'm trying to get the type before I validate the grade. So let's go ahead and move that into validate grade. So if the grade is valid, then we'll get the grade type, and then we'll return it. And here, we'll save the grade type so that we can use it later on. Don't want to pass in grade type here anymore. Move that line up here before the switch statement. And now this should work. So we don't need to pass in grade type. We'll get the grade type. Then we'll check to see if it's valid. Then we'll return it. And then we also need this piece of code, which we put in the wrong place. This is not validating the score. It's validating the grade type. So let's move it up here. There. So now, if the grade type is set, we'll get the grade type. We'll make sure it's valid. If it is, then we'll return it. And that should be everything for validate grade type.
and then for the score, we'll get this. We'll check to see if the score is set. If it is, we'll get it. We'll check to see if it's numeric, and if it is, we'll return it. And then our output functions that output the results. So just one more cleanup thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and move all my validation functions so they're in a group. It's not required to do it that way, but it will make the code a little more logical. So now I have my validate functions at the top, then I have my output functions, and then I have a main function that runs the other functions, and finally a call to that main function. We'll double check if it works now, and it does.